So I'm sitting uh, by my practice piano that my wife has added some nice little touches to. Isn't that a beauty? It's um, Honduran mahogany, and it's a 1929 piano. Uh, first piano that I received. Have you watched Feed the Baby? It's a video that kind of tells you a little story. And this was the first piano that I received. Um, uh, I have two now. Uh, this one, it's almost impossible to record on. So I use it as a practice piano and creating. I do a lot of creating. And I'm in my home, so able to just sit and enjoy it and, and work on new pieces and work on new ideas. And uh, very, it's a, it's a, man, it's so cool to have that. So I, I wanted to, to segue into that by just saying this, this piece is called, I, I Never Was a Musician. And yet, now I have two grand pianos and a studio, and uh, I just broke the thousand mark on YouTube, which is fabulous. I mean, I know that to some isn't anything, but for me, it was a it was a great leap, a bound uh, over into a whole new opportunity. So I want to just tell you this quick story of why I call, why I, the title is I Never Was a Musician. My first gig, I was 12 years old. It was 1967. And the band, we all made 10 bucks each. <laughs> and uh, we thought we were rock stars. I mean, for real, we, we were, <laughs> we made money, man. And uh, we were 12. It's very cool. Since that time, I have played on hundreds of stages in 12 nations. I've played to millions on TV and radio. And yet, I never felt like I could truly call myself a musician. I've wandered this planet performing, composing, producing music for 56 years now with some time off. I took a few years off, but um, 56 years and I couldn't call myself a musician. I made my living at it. All these places that I performed, all the projects that I've done, and I could never call myself a musician and I stopped and I said why why is that how how could I not <laughs> call myself a musician when I've done so much in in this world with musically you know and then I I I I began to process that and just think through why and it and I realized I always compare myself with somebody else who is maybe better or more creative or more popular. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's not healthy. Then in January of last year, 2022, which is a part of Feed the Baby story, everything changed for me. I decided to start writing music again. You know, last year, I wrote over 40 pieces of music. Now, I'm not saying all of them are good, but I wrote over 40 pieces of music. My goodness. I began to do live performances again. I began to loop. I began, I was in several different states and performing and had such a, a great time performing and people were actually enjoying it and like they had in the past. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, Oh, my, my YouTube channel, just like I said, it, it hit a thousand, um, 
hit a thousand subscribers. And again, to some, that's nothing. But and by the way, please, if you are not a subscriber and this is the first time you're watching this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell thing so you get notified of new tunes coming and new videos coming out. So I decided to go out and start composing, writing, performing. I also decided to do something else. I decided that I want to stop comparing myself with other musicians, other creatives. And I'm just going to go find out who follows, who listens, who watches, and not let it be about the popularity, about the creativity. Just do what I do. And let that speak for itself. One thing I learned through all of this is that comparison is a dream killer. I mean, it will literally shove you down that proverbial rabbit hole. It, you won't fall into it. You will be shoved. Comparison will shove you down into that hole. It, it, it'll take the pleasure and the joy of the creative process of what you love doing no matter what that is it doesn't have to be about music so I, I would ask one thing if any of this makes sense to you don't let your spirit or your soul be be compared to others yeah because you are a creative person and you have a creative expression that is uniquely yours that others want and need to hear cool yeah by the way thanks for you who have who have recently subscribed to my youtube channel i want to say thank you to you um, please feel free to share any of the videos please use them any way you would like they're there for you uh, to watch and to 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 enjoy and um, to share so yeah and I oh last note <laughs> by the way <laughs> I uh, I decided that I am a musician yeah see you soon <laughs>